Straight from Hope Ministry Sanctuary, Pastor Ralph here this early Sunday morning. Blessings to each and every one of you watching me. Let us together uh, uh, go through this uh, uh, service this morning to praise God and to thank God for life itself. Allow God to touch your heart this morning. You know, God is my refuge and strength, uh, an ever-present help in trouble in Psalms 46.1. Many people try to to be self uh, sufficeable, strong during the troubling times of their lives, and you know they feel that they have to be strong, but not always remembering that God's strength is fully sufficient for them, fully sufficient for our needs in the times of troubles. God gently reminds us that He is our refuge and our strength that it is his job and his job alone as i soaked in the whispers of his spirit this morning my heart lightened and i found myself remembering about how far i had come in learning to rely on the strength of the lord each and every day when i faced so many things so many troubles in finding peace when life was far from peaceful for me. In seeking and discovering guidance and wisdom when I needed hope and direction in learning to rely fully on him, it was tough. I realized that over time I have cultivated a habit of seeking God's strength when I have none left to draw from. I think I finally understand that God is strong, so we don't have to be. If you have been trying to be strong on your own and find it exhausting and robbing of your joy, would you be willing to loosen your grip on your problems and emotions that you are grabbing onto so tight and allowing God to help you? Are you willing to let go of your habit to appear strong and in control and let God be your refuge and your strength this morning? Will you give God a chance and discover how his strength alone is sufficient for all your needs? Life is too short to depend on ourselves. Wouldn't you agree? and stay weighted down with things that we never meant to carry. Those burdens. The strong one, our rock, is ready to be our refuge and our strength. And are you willing to let him carry your burdens this morning? God is not going to give you influence uh, so that you can get even. If you're waiting to get that promotion that favor so that you can show your enemies who you are and let them have it. You're not going to see the increase that you should be seeing. There's a responsibility that comes with favor. You have to have the character to handle the influence uh, the right way in life. You have to bless your enemies not talk bad about them. They are criticizing me. I'm going to criticize them, you might say. No, you'll get stuck where you are. God is testing your character each and every day. Are you focused on your weaknesses, uh, how you don't measure up and you are not as talented as... Uh, uh, that co-worker that might be working next to you. The enemy would love for you to feel unworthy uh, when, in fact, you are a masterpiece of the Lord's creation. The creator of universe applauded you. He said, you are very good. Why are you depending on people to tell you that you are good? You are talented. You are attractive. You are trying to get from them that God has already given you. 
So why don't you start building yourself up and declaring who God says that you are? Let me encourage you this morning that you, uh, uh, when you are afraid of the overwhelming um, circumstances uh, uh, that move your eyes off the problems uh, onto the ultimate problem. So uh, God's peace and his grace and his love for you will overflow you. Then begin your prayers with praise each and every day and allow God to fight the battles for you. God will carry you through defeat the enemy circling you, and yes, you may still face many other challenges like you're facing right now in the, uh, on this journey we call life, but learn to keep your eyes always on the Lord so that you will not be uh, uh, shaken at all. What are you facing today? That battle is not yours, it's God's. Start by praising God for who he is, then rest in the feet uh, that as a follower of Christ, God will never forsake you. He will help tackle whatever problem stands in you in front of you. Matter of fact, he will tackle the problem. So in closing, I think we would all agree that it's easy to look around of what's happening in this unbelievable world today and be tempted to feel afraid or maybe even dismayed. Circumstances may seem overwhelming during times like these, my friends. The important to remember as followers of, uh, of God that God has promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. In fact, not only is he with us right now, he has promised to strengthen us and uh, harden us to difficulties. That means when tough times come, my friends, they just bounce right uh, off us. We don't allow our circumstances uh, to steal our peace and our joy. We have the, the attitude that says, this may be a big problem, but my God is much bigger. May God always bless each and every one of you watching and listening to me, wherever you might be in the world. And remember to go through life with Jesus Christ in life. Always remember that problems will bounce off you like Teflon with God within you. May God bless you and God loves you.